Hello friends, this is Prashant Kumar and today I am here with a presentation on JMeter. Yes, performance testing using JMeter. It is a very basic presentation for all those who are interested in learning how to do performance testing using JMeter. So friends, let's go. If you don't have JMeter on your system, then what you can do, you can go ahead and get it installed. It's a freeware and uh, no license is required. All you need is a standard Java development kit. That's it. No other requirements. So if you have it, all you need to do is go to a command prompt or go to your shell. Uh, you have to go to your um, terminal and run this command. this command so if you run this command it will in turn go ahead and keep on installing the homebrew your script which in turn will install the jmeter on your system so it goes ahead and keep on downloading all those files libraries create the directories and then after some point of time it will ask you to provide in your admin password please go ahead and type in your admin password after that you'll see something like this installation successful now once you see this message installation successful you have to run this another command which is preview install jmeter with plugins now this command will use install uh, script to install jmeter with plugins so all your plugins will be installed one by one and then I guess in 1 minute 13 seconds the JMeter was installed with plugins post that you have to open JMeter here it is okay friends so let's start with our first program that we are going to conduct with this Apache JMeter. So the Apache JMeter installation is complete and we have we have started a window of Apache JMeter version 3.2. So it looks something like this. Now by default when the browser uh, by default when the window opens this application window opens it has something which is known as test plan now this test plan over here just like normal test plan it's like performance testing test plan we are in you create in different kind of scenarios which are covered and which are executed as a part of your performance testing using this jmeter execution so let's see you can you can rename it if you want i'm leaving it as it is you can name it anything go ahead right click and then add now there's something which is known as threads user in my last uh, video i told you about performance testing and how we do it we do it by increasing and decreasing the load load here means the number of users by increasing and decreasing number of users who are performing different kind of actions so we'll go ahead and add a thread group so this thread group is clicked so now this is your thread group which stands for the number of users so let's say I want to have three users and then ramp up of the users will be done in six seconds. So every two seconds a new user will be added and hence load will keep on increasing for one to two, two to uh, three and within zero to two seconds, two to four seconds, four to six seconds. And how many times you want each one of them to perform actions? Let's say I want them to perform actions or business transaction five times so each user will perform user five times different kind of action for five times you can use multiple uh, uh, different kind of values from here depending upon your uh, requirement I'm not going in details maybe once you start uh, practicing it 
later on you can explore these things on your own if in case you have any doubts any query you can contact me and i can help you with that now now we have the total number of users after that we go ahead and right click again and we can see we want to add sampler the sampler is something which will have the sample data which will be used for our performance testing so let's say i have html http request we are doing it for a web-based application and requesting http so here it is it's a http request and i'll give the link of my blog which is Q analysis blog and over here I keep on posting so I'm taking one of the links from there and I'm using get method to check with us a proper get and post they are working fine or not on my system so right now we are testing only get for this website and then we go ahead and right click to add Assertions. Assertion is something is like checkpoints to check. Mm -hmm. So I am adding a response assertion, this okay. one, to verify the response. So what it will do, it will take my sampler and inside the sampler it will take the main URL and see whether the response code is coming correct or not. That's it. Nothing else. Also, you need to add a little bit of other listeners who in turn will give, show you the results. So for example, I need a summary report. I need a listener view results in table. I need response time graph and let's say we take one more we have added the assertion so why not to take a assertion results i'm taking this assertion results as well done so these are the different kind of results what we are going to see as a part of our testing so everything is zero 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 and now this is our test scenario. This is the load what we have defined. This is the URL that is under testing. And we are going to check main sample only for response code, nothing special. So let's go here and click on this green button which will say go. Okay, I don't want to save it. I'll click on no. Can you see this button is green and number of user one number of, it will keep on increasing one by one so let's see we go here total 15 request and this was the total number of time view results in table this were the 15 request being sent and you can see that and this is the status they are all passed response time now if you want you can see the graph we go here not enough data i go here display graph not enough data let me change this display graph not enough data let me run it one more time maybe we'll have enough of data then do you want to save the test from first no and it is executed 20 it should be still 30 after reaching 30 we'll go ahead and do this again let's see result in graph display graph can you see this now we can see a graph i'm going on the setting taking it again and uh, let's try apply interval display graph so this is more understandable it started initial initially it was like this and slowly 
it got under 400 and then it was consistent by 400 and then increase in the is what is the total HTTP request response time in millisecond it can be seen over here a session results you can see HTTP request if you click on this you'll show any errors if you click on success you'll get all those assertions for success if you click on error you'll get all the assertions for error so this is the way we do testing performance testing you can create any kind of scenario and, and I would suggest go ahead install this Apache JMeter create different kind of scenarios and then you'll be like hit and trial using hit and trial method you can formulate different kind of scenarios and go ahead and try it out let me know in case if you need my help I hope I was able to help you out with learning performance testing executing performance testing scenarios using JMeter. You can see summary report, results in the table, response time graph, and assertion results. So let's do one thing. This is the final report, which has the summary of label, what we have used. It was the HTTP request, samples 30. How come it is 30? So let me show you. You go ahead, thread, and you see three records and then it was 15 transactions so 3 into 5 15 and we executed it two times so it became 30 average is 402 if you see this record response time graph you see 400 400 milliseconds so average would be near about 402 for this 30 records minimum was 168 and maximum was 1161 millisecond standard deviation was 205.86 millisecond error none of the cases failed none of the transactions failed so error is zero throughput if you run it for a minute then through throughput will be 29.4 and average byte transferred using each transfer was uh, 67 to 8 bytes you can go ahead and save this result somewhere in a file and then can be used for direct communication or maybe for future reference results in table similarly the same thing on the basis of results in table the summary report is generated so you see for all 30 start time and then the end time trade name if you see trade name one 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 each one of them you can see the entries over here And then HTTP request that was a label sample time status bytes connection time all the details are over here third one is response time graph we have this graph which is in detail it is self-explanatory we see uh, we are plotting graphs in millisecond versus the average HTTP request time and last is the assertion details wherein we can see all the details if we are checking errors or you're checking success if nothing is checked only the labels will be printed over here so this is the way we do performance testing load testing using apache jmeter what i'll suggest to you is go ahead install this apache jmeter and then try creating different kind of test scenarios using this video as a reference you can go ahead and try simple simple scenarios and see how exactly it is working and what kind of results you are getting and slowly start increasing the complexity of your test cases of different kind of scenarios which you are performing as a part of JMeter performance testing meanwhile if you need any help any guidance feel free connect with me comment on my blog comment on my video or get into get into a, uh, LinkedIn drop me a message I'll try to help you out and Yes, I believe we can do it and Apache JMeter performance testing can be done in a very professional and very easy way. Thank you friends. Thanks a lot.